Hey guys, just you having a great day. Graham coming to you today again from uh, Montreal, Canada. And uh, just having a coffee out here in the beautiful sunshine. And I thought I'd do a quick video. Hey, today is, um, what is today? Today is Wednesday, Wednesday the 18th of September. And again, I'm in Montreal today. We are back in the US on Friday. Uh, just some previews of coming events. Hey, I'm going to be starting a, I think a monthly Zoom mentoring call. I'm going to kick that off for a full season. And I'm doing a call, a first call this coming Saturday, more to just explore what would work well, what kind of format. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, come in on that monthly Zoom call. It's really more for my partners, but you'd be welcome. Drop me a line. I will send you a link to that. Saturday afternoon, we are going to be doing uh, healing evangelism on the streets of Norwalk, Connecticut. Uh, at 3 p.m. We're going to meet at Starbucks on the uh, Post Road in uh, Norwalk, 3 p.m. 5 p.m. I will be in NEF Church in Flax Hill Road. Uh, Sunday morning we have two services in Sturbridge Worship Center, 9 a.m. 10.30 a.m. And uh, Sunday afternoon I'm going to be in my church in Otis Mass in the Birches at 4 p.m. Contact us for address or details for any of those. Boom. Um, as always, hey, I want to mention this, well, I haven't mentioned this for a while, I've got my book on sale, my first book, Personal Vision, where I explore how to create a roadmap for a vision, how to get God's vision and write God's vision down for the primary and main areas of your life. So try to put a link on there. If you go to my website, there's a link. You can get that as a Kindle or a, a paperback version. You know that would be a blessing to you. And always do check out all the links below. Hey, let me read a verse I was just reading today and share some thoughts about this. Philippians 1.20. In Philippians, Paul um, sets out, you know, Paul's actually in prison at this stage of his life and he's talking about how he's in chains, but, um, you know, in a way he talks about everything that's happened for me is working for the furtherance of the gospel. In Philippians 1.20, Paul says, I know this will turn. This situation will turn, it will unlock, it will change. And Paul says it will turn according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I will be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always so now, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether it's by life or by death. And I love that phrase where Paul says this will, this will turn according to my earnest expectation. And I just have a really simple thought with you guys today. It's a really short video, but do you have earnest expectation? Do you have hope? I think, uh, I once heard Bill Johnson say, the person with the most hope is the person with the most influence. And I believe God wants us to be people of hope. And obviously then God wants us to be people of influence. What is hope? Hope is looking at the future in a way that it could be the near future, the one minute from now future, or the long distant future. Hope is looking at the future. It's looking at the future through a positive way, but not just a positive way. Hope looks at the future, both near and far, through the lens, through the prism of promise. Hope is what happens when you get your perspective of the future and you mix promise with it. You take the promises of God. In a certain sense, the promises of God are you know, they're there to create hope in us. You could fill your life with God's promise this and God's promise that and God's promise the other. If I gave you a check today, imagine if I gave you a check for a million dollars. It's just an example. And, you know, I signed it. I put my name, my integrity at the bottom of the check. I put your name on it. Um, that check is actually useless to you. Um, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to hang it on your wall as a decoration? You can leave it by your phone to write notes on or your bedside table in case you need to scribble something. You're going to use it as a shopping list. You know, that check, obviously it can be cash money, but its power is simply this. Its power is when you will engage with it and think, wow, because of this promissory note, I can go here, I can do that, I can pay my mortgage off, I can help people, I can invest in the gospel, I can travel the world, I can do that. And I tell you, God wants us to look at the future through the lens of hope. And the way we know we've done that is it creates an earnest expectation. And as Paul says here, an expectation that we will not be ashamed with, a hope. Paul says in Romans 5 verse 5, God's hope does not disappoint. 
you know a lot of people say well you shouldn't build your hopes up and I understand that at a natural human level but when God speaks to you his hope does not disappoint so here's my challenge to you today we should be the most hope-filled people in the world we should literally be possessed by hope the Bible says why did Jesus go to the cross it was for the hope that was set before him that he endured the cross despised the shame and he's now sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high Jesus went to the cross for hope the hope of what the hope of you he is the hope of the world and you and I his reward he'll see the desire of his soul and be satisfied we are his reward so if you are not filled with hope today I encourage you visit God Paul said I commend you to God of the word of his grace which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance amongst the saints spend enough time in God's word and then begin projecting God's word out that your life becomes filled with hope and earnest expectation right guys I'm off for some lunch here have a great day wherever you are at sending you a grand bonjour from uh, Montreal Montreal and I hope to see some of you this weekend in person do check out the links below and again if you're on YouTube we are nearly at 1 million subscribers really exciting thing there so I appreciate you sharing our channel and helping us get over that tipping point bye for now in Jesus name